do press conferences and face his victims. And they say lawyers spin, not like corporations. They're the worst. Why is Ron on a business show? Why not a network with more viewers? Most jurors don't watch this. We're not trying to influence the jury. When you're suing a corporation, you try to influence this board through its stock price. Institutional investors and money managers control most of Paganon's stock. They watch this show. They'll see Ron on TV and might begin to believe that Paganon is in real legal trouble. So they'll call to start selling off their Paganon shares. It will only take about a minute for the price to drop. If the stock price drops low enough, it could pressure Paganon's board to settle this case with a check big enough to save Mary the pain of trial. Did we just hire new paralegals? I thought Ron said we couldn't to keep costs down. Apparently not. Ron's trying a case and he wants them. He's just hired 10 new ones to staff up this case. You know, he called me again in the middle of the night. Well, you know Ron. When he's trying a case, we're on 24 7. Yeah, well, when I'm trying a case, we're on all the time, too. But I don't call at 3 o'clock in the morning for my jury results. How do we do? It's weird. Jane's dead, killed as a result of corporate negligence. But the mock jury's just not connecting with their case. Maybe it's the shoplifting conviction, drug abuse. They're just not finding her sympathetic. Meaning Mary doesn't deserve any money. We also got mock jury results on Mary's deposition tape. She bombed. Mock jurors thought she came across as cold and distant. Her mother's dead. She's still not in a good place emotionally, and this case isn't helping. She's only a kid. If we don't settle, Ron wants to call her to testify. He wants Lloyd to have to destroy her on the stand. He says he'll have no choice and the jury will hate him for it. Yes, it might be our best shot to win. You did the research. Since Odell's been CEO, Paganon has beaten every personal injury suit its face, mostly through Odell's charm and skill outmaneuvering lawyers on the other side. Well, Ron's been baiting him pretty good. What if Odell takes a stand? Ron's sure he won't. Someone who was riding the roller coaster on the day of the accident sold us the photo on eBay. What does the photo show, Alden? The guy was sitting two cars in front of Jane. It shows Jane just moments before she passed under the beam. Her seatbelt is unbuckled. This is bad. It fits the other side's story that she killed herself. They'll say she unbuckled it during the riot. We can still argue the ride operator didn't check her belt and it came undone. We also have the falling beam. We can argue that it can attribute it to her death as well. well. That photo helps the other side. They could argue that she undid the belt to get money from the park. And under civil discovery rules, we now have to turn the photo over to them. Great. We actually paid for evidence that could hurt our case. Mary, I'm looking for things that we can show the jury so they'll understand who your mother was and that she wouldn't have hurt herself. The manager who runs the public storage said I have to get all this stuff out by tomorrow. He said the last check I wrote him bounced or something. I think I messed up bouncing the checkbook. It was probably that last red check I wrote where Mom died. You were the one who paid the bills? Well, Mom was busy with work and school. Plus, she wasn't good with bills or deadlines. Mary, did your mother seem like she wanted to kill herself? No. It wasn't even her idea to go to the park. It was mine. Stop. Was your mother seeing a doctor, Mary? We didn't have a doctor. We went to the free clinic. That's where those came from. Saunders and Lee is suing you and Mary and me for a hundred million dollars? They said you spread lies about Paganon on television to deflate its stock and exert pressure in the case. They're trying to scare you. Well, it worked! I'm scared for Mary. What you said on the show isn't covered by the litigation privilege. I asked another attorney. The privilege shields lawyers from being sued for things they say in court, not on TV. I'm familiar with the litigation privilege. Litigation is what I do. I never violate the privilege, ever. You have to trust us. Ron always has reasons for doing what he does. We're gonna win this. Not if he's still in charge. Have you got $100 million? Then you've got nothing to worry about. We've got a problem. Jane was diagnosed with ovarian cancer six months before the accident. 
doctor said she didn't want to live anymore. He told her she had a responsibility to marry and prescribed antidepressants and painkillers, said her mental state had improved. What if it didn't? Is it possible she did commit suicide? How bad was her cancer? She had a few months to live. She'd been putting off going to the doctor. The Mary was the one who finally made the appointment for her. Lloyd knew Jane was sick. It explains why Lowe bought us on the settlement offer. He's gonna use this to prove that Jane staged the accident so her estate could sue as a way of providing for Mary after her death. Damn. Legally, the value of Jane's life just went down to zero. Answer what they ask, just what they ask. And don't get smart with them. But most of all, no matter what, don't cry. Not a tear, you understand? You're the only one who can testify about what happened on the coaster that day. We're depending on you. I'm doing the handshake. You serious? It works. If the jury sees Odell shake my hand, they'll think I must not be such a bad guy. But if Odell refuses, then he's the jerk. Pleasure to see you again. Lloyd? How are you, sweetie? I'm good. You all right? Yeah. Good. Mom and I were holding hands, because you know, we did that on scary rides. Hold hands. And did she say anything to you? No, she was just screaming. And like, you know, when you're on a roller coaster. She was laughing, too. She snorted when she laughed. I do, too. We were, we were having fun. I remember when we went down the ride that she squeezed my hand tighter. And then I felt her hand let go. And then I didn't hear her anymore. Mary, you testified that while you were on the roller coaster, your mom was holding tight to your hand. Was she doing that with both of her hands or just one? Just one. Which one? Her right hand. Now, when you go on roller coasters, do you usually look ahead at the track or sideways? At the track most of the time. So while you were looking at the track and your mom was using her right hand to hold your hand, you don't know for sure what she was doing with her left hand, do you? I guess not. So it's possible that she used her left hand to unbuckle her seatbelt during the ride and you just didn't see it. Yeah, I guess, but she didn't. That's what you want to believe, isn't it? I know my mom wouldn't kill herself. She was a good mom. The kind of mom who would do whatever she had to do to provide for her daughter. It was my idea to go to the park. Mine. I begged to go, but she said we couldn't afford it. I kept on begging, and it's my fault she's dead. <laughs> Mary, did your lawyers go over with you how you should act on the stand? Did they say you should cry? No. <laughs> they told me not to cry. Get ready to see the ride operator go down in flames. Remember, Ryan, just don't push it, all right? Just make your point and get off. We're winning. If the hammer works, don't bring out the shotgun. Relax, I've done this a few times. Lloyd is squirming. Now it's time to make him crawl. <laughs> <laughs>